I'm Jeff Fischel for the ACC Digital Network with NC State great Julius Hodge. Julius, we're looking at the first round of the NBA draft. Let's start with the ACC picks. I went first. Alex Len, number five to Phoenix. You like Len, and see, you can see him developing into a solid NBA center. I really like Len. I, I really think he can uh, continue to develop. Uh, he's a, a very young player. He's only a sophomore this year at Maryland. Um, haven't been playing basketball for many years. Super talented already. You know, I could see why a lot of NBA scouts were thinking of taking him at number one. Now next for the ACC is a couple from the schools, the new schools in the ACC, Syracuse and Pitt. Michael Carter-Williams at 11, Steven Adams at 12. You like those guys as well? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I, I love Michael Carter-Williams. Oh, he's you know. fantastic, isn't uh, he? Tall point guard, you know, that's yep, right up that's my you. alley. Uh, you know, um, big time uh, player at Syracuse, you know, um, led the nation in assists for most of the time, most of the season. Um, and Adams at Pittsburgh, you know, um, big body, uh, could catch the ball, you know, still a work in progress, right. but you know, he can uh, go to the D-League couple games, you know, get his confidence and get going. Oklahoma City is a perfect fit for him there. Then we saw Shane Larkin, the coach's pick for ACC Player of the Year, taken by Atlanta, but it looks like he's headed to Dallas. Mavericks say, hey, we need a point guard and Larkin's a guy. Wow, uh, for Larkin to be going there. First, I, when he went to, um, he got picked by the Hawks. I, I was a little confused about that pick, you know, with them already having um, former Wake Forest point guard Jeff T. That's right. But, but then going to Dallas, uh, no one's there. Um, you know, they, they in a complete rebuild. Um, I know he's excited right now. All right, then the next ACC player taken, Mason Plumlee. He fell into the 20s, but still in a good situation with New Jersey where he's not expected to be the man right away for the Nets. Yeah, Mason going to a system um, with a, a, a really good team, you know, a new young head coach and uh, Jason Kidd. That's right. He's going to definitely be able to, I could see him breaking into the rotation right away. Of course, a guy who averaged a double-double, so you know he's a man. He can already battle in the exactly. NBA. And then we saw Reggie Bullock. He took a chance by going into the draft, and now he's heading into a great situation with the Clippers. Wow. Uh, Reggie must have really been dominating the workouts. Uh, went into the draft. Um, everybody was talking about him being, you know, late second round, middle of the second round, into a top 25 pick, you know, first round pick. Uh, I'm really happy for him. And again, we talk about a great situation. He must, you're right, he must have proven himself because yes. we already know he's a great shooter. So if he can defend in the NBA, a guy like that, he's looking great. Now, yeah. we're here at the NBA Draft Party ACC Digital Network through. We had some raffles, we had karaoke, and I got up there, but <laughs> Julius, you would not go up there. No, no. <laughs> we, we tried all night. I, I, t I told you guys, you know, I'm not a singer, so I don't want y'all to have that footage of me making a fool of myself. I'm sorry. Well, th there is footage of me now singing, and I think that's proof that I can't sing either. There you go. <laughs> All right, with Julius Hodge, I'm Jeff Michelle. You're watching the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.